right. They were there. And there's a voice I hadn't heard. You, you get to four days, I know the same voices I'm listening to. On the Bainbridge, there was an instant determination. The captain's life was in dire jeopardy. And the commanding officer's ship had the authority and the rules of engagement that if his life is in jeopardy, is, is to take out the pirates, take them out. On the lifeboat, tempers flared as two of the pirates turned on the one who fired the gun. These were the final seconds. The pirates are yelling at him, what'd you do that for? Why'd you do that? And I'm on all fours and I'm seeing their heads go up through the hatch and they're yelling, okay, okay, no problem, no problem, okay, okay. You know, to reassure the name. That you were okay. Yeah, yeah. Time stood still. The light was fading. The SEAL Team snipers attached night vision scopes to their high-powered rifles. But this was no easy shot. The lifeboat pitched in the sea. One slip by a fraction of an inch could kill the captain. As the two pirates raised their heads from the front of the lifeboat, the third could be seen in the window at top. There was no room for error. And then all hell broke loose. Then uh, the shots. The Navy SEALs fired at least three shots. The captain thought the pirates were shooting each other. And I'm going, what the hell are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? This and it was me. This is extraordinary. You're, you're hearing these gunshots, and you're thinking, you know what? The pirates have turned on each other. Yeah. After all this time, they are now shooting each other. After the shots, I sort of pick my head up, and right behind me is the young pirate who's taken his last gas on the deck. Uh, and the next thing I hear is, are you okay? It was a Navy SEAL dropping down to the lifeboat to rescue him. All three of the pirates on the lifeboat were dead. The alleged leader was in custody on the Bainbridge. Finally, Captain...